So here, the increasing heart rate is the most sensitive indicator of successful response to each step practiced. Okay, so heart rate, ventilation is the focus, heart rate is the assessing factor. Okay, heart rate, you have to assess heart rate every time. Now, latest again, this is the second recommendation. The first one was carbon dioxide detector, which is required for every baby. The second one is latest key you use carbon dioxide electrocardiogram or the chest leads to detect the heart rate okay as an agent why not uh, we can listen to the heart or palpate the umbilical cord right this was the previous practice now uh, now they say if the heart rate is low low cardiac output then uh, receiving the pulsations is not proper okay so you cannot assess the heart rate through palpatory method okay so then the second method, heart rate. For heart rate, again, when you are giving positive pressure ventilation, the heart rate you assess may not, may not be appropriate or accurate, or you may, may, may need to uh, stop or pause the ventilation for some time to assess the heart rate. So recently, they say rather than doing that, the auscultatory or the palpatory method, this ECG, the chest leads is the better better uh, method and accurate, be, with better accuracy. So hence, the chest, uh, chest leads are placed immediately once we start on PPV. So the two additional things which come during the PPV, the thing is, one is carbon dioxide detector, the second one is chest leads. Now we were discussing, see, even after 15 seconds, the heart rate has not increased. And even after 30 seconds of positive pressure ventilation, the heart rate is not gone up to 100. So what do we do? This next second, next thing which we do is to check whether we are giving the positive pressure ventilation properly or not. So here, ventilatory corrective steps. Okay, it is uh, abbreviated as Mr. Sopa. Okay, MR Sopa or Mr. Sopa, whichever way you way you want to see. So what are the ventilatory corrective steps? First is mask readjustment. So mask, you adjust again. Then reposition the head and neck. Okay, reposition the head and neck in um, sniffing position. Okay, then again, start on back and mask. Okay, then if it is not still, if it is not in prison, then we do suction of the mouth and nose and then open the airway. These two, see each step, two, 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 two at a time. Take a mask adjustment, then reposition the head and neck, and then again do bag and mask. No, if it is not increased, then again suction the mouth and nose, open the mouth, okay? And then again, do bag and mask. If, if at all, again, it is not increasing, then next is pressure increase, okay? And the next one is the last one is alternative airway alternative airways endotracheal intubation or the laryngeal mask airway so mr sopa okay here so what i was telling is mask adjustment reapply the mask lift the jaw okay with two hand hold with two hands both the hands okay then reposition the head and uh, head and neck with the sniffing position if and then give five breaths then to assess the chest movement then if no chest movements or the heart rate is not increasing, then again do suction and suction of the mouth with bulb syringe or suction, suction catheter, then open the mouth, then again do five breaths, okay? If again there isn't any improvement, then increase the pressure. Pressure should be increases, increased at a rate of five to 10 centimeters at a time, not means directly go to say if it is uh, 20, do, do not directly go at 35, okay? Then maximum for, uh, see this is again changed, uh, maximum for uh, term baby is 40, for preterm baby is 30, okay. Then again give 5 breaths, if it is not improving, then go ahead with alternative airway, okay. You have to have achieved ventilation, so the next airway we have to go.